June 1940. The Germans have invaded. Britain has fallen. London's under siege. And ruben has got a modern rucksack. <laughs> but today we're going into the woods to have a look at an OB and take some pictures. Operational base of Churchill's secret army. The Home Guard commandos, the auxiliaries. Call them what you want. They're very top secret. They were selected as the fittest men of the Home Guard. Trained in commando warfare, sabotage, assassination and explosions. There's one very here uh, in Thorpe Woods here in Norwich. There's one of four in Norfolk. So it's built deep underground, it has an ammunition store, it has a secret escape tunnel <laughs> in the very muddy woods. Uh, it's quite nice and quiet today. The auxiliaries uh, here that are at this base, there was a group of them, eight, they operated in a cell of eight. And their targets here were Rocky Airfield. They go out there, sabotage what they could, blow up the German planes perhaps, a few assassinations. Luckily the Germans never invaded, so these people weren't put to use. But here we're at a first stop, the observation post. This was connected, uh, perhaps to the original, original OB over there. This is 30 foot southwest of the ammunition stores. So the roof has collapsed. This would have been sort of semi dug in and covered up. Now it's a nice clear route off the main road. See if the Germans uh, followed us back here, discovered that there are auxiliaries in the woods. <laughs> they might be trying to track us down. This We've got a nice clear post, route. Yeah. This observation post gives us a clear, clear view if the Germans are coming into the woods. So we're here in Thorpe and Andrew Thorpe Woods operational base. So this would have been the entrance. It's been filled up with rubble since uh, since the war. Uh, it's filled up in the 50s, stop local kids falling in it. Um, so this would have been the main entrance, it would go down into there and it would carry on up deep underground, deep long tunnels and over there is, uh, we believe, either the secret exit or an ammunition dump. So the roof for this fell in after the war, so the depression in the ground, the lowest point is where the roof would have been uh, and then underneath it's all collapsed in. So the home guard, uh, auxiliaries, the auxiliary army, wore Home Guard uniform. Much of the time they were still training members of the Home Guard, but if the Germans had invaded, they would have come to the OB here. They would have gathered all of the uh, extra equipment that they would have needed and would have gone into sort of a fighting kit for 12 days of sabotage and operations in the locality. So we're standing in the ammunition dump, the weapons store, this would have been connected to the entrance by more tunnels. So these holes, these wooden beams are parts of the original roof, so this is the roof level, a bit of metal there, probably what the roof was made of and then covered in leaves and things. The auxiliary used many different weapons, lots of the uh, American Thompson guns, some of machine guns, uh, American pistols too, anything the British government could purchase that the regular army were using the Home Guard had access to. They were trained greatly in sabotage and explosion, so from Mills bombs to TNT to a great deal of explosions. They used two, the famous commando knife, they were effectively home guard commandos um, to carry out assassination missions as well. The had successfully invaded Britain. If they had followed commandos back, this position auxiliaries back here, they could easily be coming through this woods in 1940-41. Uh, if the OB was discovered, it could greatly be blown up and the auxiliaries are expected to not be taken prisoner. So, fighting to the death, fighting to the last bullet and ultimately taking your own life rather than surrendering. <laughs>